Hey everybody, Jeremy here with the Practical IT Channel. Tonight we're going to take a first look at the new release of Fog 1.5.10, fresh off the presses. I believe it was released on the 5th of March, 2023. And so let's jump over to our computer and take a look at this. All right, so we're at our dashboard. Not a lot has changed. And yes, later on, I will do a full installation video at, at another time. But I wanted to jump into this new version. Everything pretty much looks the same. So again, across the top, you've got dashboard, users, hosts, groups, images, storage, snap-ins, printers, service configuration, tasks, reports, and fog configuration. In this video, we're gonna concentrate on going through a capture and a deploy. So let's get right into this and not waste any time. So the first thing we wanna do is come over here to images. We wanna create a new image. We're just gonna call this demo. If I could type, we are going to set the operating system type to Linux and we are going to leave defaults on everything else. We're going to say add. We're going to jump over here to our Proxmox. So we are going to make a backup into fog of our mint 21.1 cinnamon. So we'll come here to console. We're gonna go ahead and start. Hit escape for the boot menu. We're gonna hit three for iPixie. And so what I've done here is if you were on a physical machine, this would be the same as like on a Dell, you'd hit F12 and you pick from the boot menu. We are going to do a full host registration and inventory. So when you do something like this and you're using Linux, don't overthink it with virtualization. It's direct parallels to what you see on a physical machine. I probably do mint 21.1 instead. There we go. Uh, we are going to hit question mark to list our images to associate. And we're going to do number three for the demo image. The rest of this stuff, we're going to take the defaults. So we're going to say no, no for snap-ins, no for product key, no for domain joining. And we can even skip primary user that's more related to Windows. Would you like to deploy image to this computer now? No, because we're doing initial registration. And so when this comes back up, it'll finish the registration process and it'll go to reboot and we will stop the machine right here. We're gonna jump back to fog. All right, so we can do list images. Currently, the demo image has a size of zero. Okay, so we'll go to hosts and list all hosts. And we've got mint 21.1 right here. In this task column, the yellow up arrow is capture. You're sending the data to the fog machine. Schedule with shutdown, so after the initial imaging completes, it's going to shut down that computer, the computer or VM, as the case might be. Create capture tasking. So then we can come to tasks, and we've got an active task. Now we go back to our machine, our Mint 21.1, and we go through the same process that we started before. 
It's going to be slightly different, but it starts off the same. We start it, hit escape for the boot menu. And this machine, it's three for iPixie. It's going to boot to the menu. Pretty simple stuff. And once, really, once you've seen this a few times and you've done it a few times, it's pretty easy. So since the task is already active, in just a moment, it'll go to the automatically to the capture screen and it will start giving us a progress bar and we can jump back to the fog dashboard and see what it's doing. It's shrinking the volume for dev SDA3. We take a look at the dashboard here on fog while it's doing that. You can see for March 14th, we've got some activity and down here on bandwidth, if we go to receive, we've got activity as well. So it should be just about done shrinking this and we can continue the process. Now we're moving a little bit and here's our part clone screen. And now we're doing the larger partitions, 13.9 gigabytes. And if we jump to our fog server, we can see that there is activity down here. I'll make this a little bit bigger so people can see it better. I'll let that run in the background for a moment. So as we kick off moving into this new fog release and subsequent videos, I want to know from you, the viewers, what do you want to see done with fog? I'm looking into, but I cannot guarantee that we will be doing videos on windows other than what would actually be a capture and redeploy to, for instance, the same machine. But as far as doing the whole sysprep process to deploy to multiple machines, I may have to declare that out of scope for this channel just because I don't have access to anything other than the trial versions of Windows 10 and 11. I'm not going to buy special licensing just to do a set of videos. So if you've got anything else you want to see, leave it down in the comments and I will try to include that in this series, which I expect to go on for a few weeks as I get into the differences and similarities between this version and previous versions. So let's check out our progress and see what's happening. So on bandwidth, we've got a flat line. If we come back over here, we can see that our machine is shut down. Now, if we want to do, say we're going to do a new VM and we're just going to clone to this machine. So, We'll call it mint 211 clone. We're going to say do not use any media. We'll do QEMU agent disks. And we'll just set that to slightly larger to oops, 35 with SSD emulation. Next, look at this four CPUs and eight gigs of RAM. I'm going to start after created. Finish and it's automatically booting from the network because we do not have any other bootable drive. We are going to deploy an image. We don't have to register since we're only deploying. We'll do deploy image and it's going to ask for username and password. And we are going to use the demo image. Select that from the list. And it's going to start pushing that image out to this freshly created virtual machine. And it's starting the process, doing the smaller partitions first, and then it will get to our, I believe, 13.9 gigabyte partition and get that restored. And it's not moving at a bad pace, but once I can 
get invested in some 10 gig networking cards and a switch, this is going to fly quite a bit faster. Looking at fog again, you can see we've got both transmit and receive bandwidth happening, which is good. I can set this to something more realistic like 30 minutes. And again, we can look at transmit and receive. And this graph up here is just keeping track of the number of machines imaged, which is either capture or receive over the past 30 days. So our machine should be coming up here shortly. And Linux Mint is booting. So far, so good. All right, so we've got ourselves a fully operational cloned VM of Linux Mint 21.1. Now, things you might want to take into consideration if you're doing it this way is you may want to reset the MAC address so they are two independent machines. Otherwise, they if you run them at the same time, they could conflict on the network. So... Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you've got suggestions for other videos you'd like to see, again, I will be looking at those comments. I will be making additional videos on Fog 1.5.10. And hopefully we will be able to hit some things that we may not have hit in previous Fog series, which would be great because I don't think a lot of people are covering Fog on YouTube these days. So hit that like button, subscribe, give me some feedback, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.